this video, I'm going to show you how to create a freeze frame in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a pretty simple effect to do, so let's begin. Let's take a look at this video of a dog that was recently adopted from our animal rescue group. His name is Bongo. So let's play the final result real quick on what we're going to do. Okay, so let's freeze frame Bongo when he's in mid-air when he jumps over this tube thing. With the clip in the timeline, place your playhead on the point you would like to freeze. So we want to get him right when he's in mid-air jumping over this tube thing. Right about there. So this looks like a good spot. Now go to your razor tool by pressing C key for cut on your keyboard, or select this little razor blade looking icon in your tools panel. If your tools panel is not open, go up to Window and select Tools. Once the cursor changed to the blade, slice the clip head where your playhead is sitting by left clicking your mouse. So right there. Now that we have this separated into two clips, all we have to do to freeze the frame is right click on the clip and select Frame Hold. When the Frame Hold option dialog box opens, make sure the Hold On option has a check mark next to it. Also make sure that the drop down box says End Point. If you open up the drop down box, you will see that you can select the out point as well. But for this example, we are going to hold the end point. So go ahead and click OK. Now if you play back the clip, you can see that the clip freezes on the frame you cut it at. Now let's select the duration in which we would like to hold for, and then cut the clip again in that spot. So we'll hold it for about a second, and we'll stop it right here. We'll go ahead and cut the clip. Now as you can see, the new cut has a new frame hold where we cut it at. This created a new hold point on that clip in the location of the actual footage that we cut it at, regardless of the previous frame hold. So you're probably thinking, I'll just remove the frame hold on it and it will resume where it left off, right? Wrong. As we are now at the new cut, we actually lost all the underlying frames when we created the new cut. So this is what we do. Delete the clip of the last cut by pressing the delete key. Now go back to our first cut that currently has the frame hold on it and press Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on Mac or right click copy to copy this clip. Now place the playhead to the end of that clip and hit the Ctrl V on Windows or Command V on Mac or go up to edit window and click paste to paste that clip at the end of the frame hold clip. Now go ahead and remove the frame hold and we'll be right where we left off at in the video. So right click and select frame hold When the frame hold dialog box opens, uncheck the hold on checkbox and select OK. Now let's play the footage back and see what we get. There you go, that's how you freeze frame in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this could be useful to add a title to or whatever you desire. Now if you needed to extend it, I'm going to slow down this last clip to 50%. And then I'm going to extend the frame hold by pulling this over and dragging this clip out. So now we have a longer hold and it will just pick up where it left off. So let's play that and see what we have. This kind of effect is useful if you want to add a title or something here. So I have a title. Let me just drag it real quick and show you what this will look like. I already made this text in Photoshop. So here's the final outcome after a few tweaks. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, you might as well subscribe.